Well, welcome back to the Bible reading video channel here, folks. Uh, glad to have you. Hope you enjoyed those uh, those videos that we did from the roadside park there in Seguin, just outside of Luling. It was a real pleasure. I, I enjoyed reading it. You know, uh, nobody came up and talked to us, but hey, we're out there trying. And you know what? It really inspired the ideas. I'll probably do more of that when I see roadside parks. Word fits into my work schedule. You know, I can stop there after work on my way to wherever I'm going, and we'll do more of that. Um, so here we're filming on the uh, a little creek just off the East San Jacinto River, which is the East River that uh, East River Baptist Church is named after. It's about a mile down the street from the house here. And uh, so I thought I'd come down here to the back side of the property with this little creek and uh, do the next few video readings. So again, I'm not a pastor, I'm not a preacher, I'm not a missionary, I'm not an evangelist. What I am is a believer. A believer in Jesus Christ, amen, and I sure hope you are too. I sure do. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get off into this next chapter. Chapter 23, here we go. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and to his disciples, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do. But do not ye after their works, for they say, and do not. For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. But all their works they do for to be seen of men, they make broad their, oh, I have no idea, phylacteries. Again, folks, if you know the, uh, if, if you know the pronunciation of a word, by all means, drop a comment, uh, you know, help out with the pronunciation. Remember, not only uh, me and you will see it, but other people see in the videos, they'll, they'll see those cor correct pronunciations. So, yeah, there we go. Let me finish here. For, verse 4, For they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be borne, and lay them on men's shoulders, but they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Verse 5, but all their works they do for to be seen of men, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments, and love the uppermost rooms and feast, and the chief seats in the synagogues. And greetings in the markets, and to be called of men, Rabbi, Rabbi. But be not ye called Rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ, and all ye are brethren. And call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men, <clears throat> Excuse me, for ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayer, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Woe unto ye, ye blind guides, which say, Whosoever shall swear by the temple, it is nothing, but whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold or the temple that sanctifieth the gold. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift of the altar that sanctifieth the gift? Whosoever there shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it, and by all things thereon. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, sweareth by it, and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that shall swear by heaven sweareth by the throne of God, and by him that sitteth thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye, ha ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. 
ye blind guides which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye make clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but within they are full of exhort ex exhortation. Extor they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisees, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepul sepulchres, whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanness. Even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and inequity. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchres of the righteous. I'm sure that I'm getting the sepulchres wrong. So, if uh, again, if you know of a, of a the, the correct way to pronounce it, let me know. Verse 30. And say, if we had been in the days of our fathers, we would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up then the measure of your fathers. Ye serpents, ye generation of vipers, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Wherefore, behold, I send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them for persecute them from city to city, that upon you may come all the righteousness bloodshed upon the earth, from the blood of righteousness Abel unto the blood of Zach Zachary, Zacharias, son of Barachias, 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 one of those may be right, whom ye slew between the temple and the altar. Verily I say unto you, all these things that shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together, even as a hen gathereth her chickens under her wings, and ye would not. Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is the... Let me start that over. Verse 39. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. <coughs> well, that was a, ch a tough chapter right there. Chapter 23. Um, there was a lot of words in there that I am sure that I got wrong. For those of you that uh, may not see down in the, the description, it's there if you go down there and look in the description. I have uh, worked on a little website to help point folks to the, the channel here. It's it's Bro, B-R-O, short for brother. So it's Bro Mark Keller, B-R-O-M-A-R-K-K-E-L-L-E-R. -L -L -E so if you have anybody you want to uh, point towards this YouTube channel, you could also send them to that website. And then there's the social media links on it so they can click get to this, get to this YouTube channel from that uh, website. So I, I used it yesterday, went to lunch at uh, Cole's Smokehouse and Barbecue there in uh, Splendora, Texas. The waitress uh, said, y'all have a blessed day. I asked her where she went to church. Lo and behold, yet another waitress or, or waiter that I've, that I've come across that says, well, I just recently moved and I don't have a church. So. I welcomed her with open arms to come out to the East River Baptist Church, the one I attend, and uh, she subscribed to their channel and subscribed to this one. So if y'all want to help spread the word and spread spread this channel and the Bible reading videos and the whole experience here, you know, you can point people to that B-R-O, bro, Mark Keller dot com. And again, that, that YouTube and there's a Facebook link there, too. So God bless you. Enjoy doing these. Enjoy making the video diary for myself. I'm already starting to imagine how how. Uh, how amazed I'm going to be when I go back and reread books for the second time. Amen. See you on the next video.